Veterans Day is a time for reflection and thanks. A time to express gratitude to the brave men and women who have served and sacrificed for our country. We are the greatest, strongest nation in the history of the world because of men and women who have stepped forward throughout our history to serve and sacrifice. I know because two of my sons have served and I am proud that so many of my friends have been involved not only in our armed services but also as veterans in helping other veterans to fulfill their potential. And we should always keep in mind the need to keep faith with our veterans, make sure no veteran is left behind and provide them with the skill training and education and job opportunities and yes, the health care they need and deserve, particularly mental health care that's needed to overcome the invisible wounds of war, post-traumatic stress and traumatic brain injury. As President Eisenhower said about this day in 1954, we should, quote, solemnly remember the sacrifices of all those who fought so valiantly on the seas, in the air, and on foreign shores to preserve our heritage of freedom. And let us reconsecrate ourselves to the task of promoting an enduring peace so that their efforts shall not have been in vain. I encourage you to reach out to our veterans, friends, loved ones, members of your community, and Express your thanks to them and also to their families because they too have served. In fact, many of them continue to serve in caring for veterans who bear the wounds of war, are disabled, and others whose lives are made richer and stronger because of their families, their loved ones, their friends who care for them. Thanks to our veterans, thanks to their families, and thanks to you for honoring this day.